Good evening, everyone. Mark the Radio Amateur here with a overview of the programming software for my XTS 5000 Type 3 by Motorola. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is the tree view uh, layout that it that it has. I'm going to hit expand all here, and you'll be able to see how many menu options there are in this uh, in this radio software. There are many many things in here, and I only use a few of them. So I'll go over those few, and then if you guys have individual questions, you guys can go and uh, insert your question into the comments and I'll do my best to um, to find out those answers and get them answered for you. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is once we get all these collapsed, here we go. Okay, so basics of the radio. You have the radio configuration here. These are some of the systems that it has. Um, you have uh, phone systems, uh, we have some secure systems, you have a conventional system. That's standard uh, standard radio uh, configuration file uh, menu options. But here's where we want to go right here. If you can see this controls, we double click on that. It opens it up and then we can go to buttons. If you guys have... Um, a XTS 5000 you guys know that it has a orange man down button on the top a purple button on the side a secondary button underneath the purple button has a single dot and then one below that has two dots on it that's where this menu control is so we have the top button that orange button is the man down button you'll see the emergency uh, free, uh, emergency option here I have my no dot purple button on the side for the screen light um, and then I have the one dot button for zone up that's changing your zones and then the bottom dot is to scan through um, to through the programs that are the uh, frequencies and channels you have programmed. Um, what I'm actually going to do is change this bottom dot here. Um, I have one of the top uh, buttons for the scan so I think what I'm gonna do is well, probably leave it blank um, yeah I'll just unprogram it for now maybe we'll find something else once I get a different system in there okay so that's there um, the controls also has your switches on top the rotary control that has the channels 1 through 16 that's what this part is I have it for as channel select um, this uh, position is just around the power knob, uh, or excuse me, this position switch is just around the channel selector. Um, I don't use that, I have that blank. Um, these are, there's a three position toggle on the top. Um, I have the first one blank, the second one locks the keypad, and the third one shifts the radio into low power. Alright, oops, I just... Be careful when you when you're on these. If you just hover the mouse around it, it will um, it will change the it will change the setting. So be careful with that. Uh, I just kind of messed it up. So let's go back over here. Low power. There we go. Okay. All right, so those are the controls. Now we're going to go into some uh, some channels and some frequencies. Uh, I see my video is at four minutes, so I'll try to keep this pretty short and to the point. I'm going to open up channel, or actually zone channel assignment one out of 15. When I get into this drop-down menu, you have the option to change the zone. However, it only has uh, three slots four letters so or four uh, yeah four slots for letters so I just keep it at Z1 Z1 for zone one um, in this little area you can see it has the front panel programming and channels I'm gonna hit channels 
And here we have some already pre-programmed channels here. You can see these ones are monitor only. This one's a Yolo County Sheriff's Dispatch one, Yolo County Sheriff's TAC, Yolo Probation. Um, there's some other sheriff's departments in here as well. A lot of the city PD around here have all gone digital, um, but they've gone uh, digital trunked 800 megahertz, so it's kind of difficult to uh, to get all their stuff dialed in unless they have a an analog or a digital um, dual band frequency VHF or UHF. So in here, we have a few menu options, and I'll click on here. This is where you edit the name. You double click. To, and then you can jump into your editing the name and then once you get past that this is a channel announcement so when you scroll over the channel it'll say you know YOLO SD1 so on and so forth I don't have that set up uh, if you guys want to have it set up go ahead um, and now here we are we have the personality type these are all conventional systems um, those are personality numbers user selectable PL I don't use that typically um, and here we have the frequencies. Okay, so you guys see this one's 154800. All you guys have to do to program a frequency is like we did before, double click, 154 dot. You have to remember the dot, otherwise it won't take. 8000. Zero, zero, zero. And then you click away, it'll add another zero, and you're good to go. Uh, this here is your, your receive squelch tones. You have PL or DPL. There's also CSQ, which means it's simplex. We have a receive PL tone on this channel of 141.3. This one here, you can click. It'll give you a drop-down menu of different receive PLs. I'm not going to change anything about this. This is a Motorola thing. They typically have uh, uh, codes for their PLs. Um, here we go, transmit frequency, same thing. This one just happens to be, um, let's see, this one is 0 0.05 megahertz away, I believe. Let me see. Um, no, a little bit more than that. Um, looks like 5.05 5 away. Um, once again, your transmit PL, uh, you can disable them. This is what I should probably do. Um, most of these, these are all monitor only, so we don't want to be talking to the sheriff's department because, first of all, why do you need to talk to the sheriff's department? Second of all, FCC doesn't like that. So stay away from that. Disable your, your PLs so that you're transmitting on simplex. You don't have to key up on a, on a law channel and get yourself into trouble. All right, so that's kind of a quick overview. I'm going to do another video here shortly of uh, we're going to actually go in and program a uh, another frequency into here, and I'll get you guys set up with uh, repeaters um, so that you guys know what we're looking for with repeaters. Um, do our all of our offsets and everything like that, and then I'll go into uh, some MDC system uh, settings. I use MDC on my mobile UHF. Um, so I'm going to program them into this portable VHF. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I will put in another video in not too long from now, today. Um, give me another 30 minutes and I'll have one up for you. Well, until then, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate, like I've said before, I appreciate all of my subscribers that I've been seeing pop up lately. Keep the comments rolling in and, uh, and we'll get this thing going. So, without further ado, KN6AZH, I am 73. Have a good wonder. Take it easy. Bye-bye.